I don't know what gain will you get from that uh, microfinance empty. Apart of uh, depositing our money in the bank and later on not get anything at all. The microfinance, after saving, you can now go in and take a loan, which in turn will be able to benefit us to do, you know, triple of what we've been doing before. During our next meeting, we discussed our options related to the management of our finances. Power finance didn't really seem trustworthy to all of us. The rate at which Adashi people at the market offer loans seemed too high, and our wealthy community members had their interest in other things than our pretty two storehouse. So in the end, we concluded that for our mission, the microfinance bank was the best option. Now we needed to give our group a proper structure. We adopted bylaws which had to be respected by all members. We agreed that there will be penalties for latecomers, or if someone didn't show up at all at our meetings. We stressed very much on the point that everyone had to bring his contribution on time, and if someone failed to do so, there would also be penalties. That clause was especially important because of the nature of our investment. With the storehouse, we would not immediately make any profit that would help us to repay our loan. We had to use the income from our individual businesses to pay back. So we agreed that we all have to tighten our belts and push back any spending onto the upcoming harvest. Then we elected our official. Uncle Musa was elected yes. chairman. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Undu, the financial secretary. Congratulations. This group have elected you as their financial secretary. Use the book in a good way. We were all motivated and had the feeling that together as a group, we could <laughs> achieve things we could never achieve alone. <laughs> There's a question I would like to ask you related to your group loan application. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I would like to know how much you make from this your from this your store, this place, you know, on monthly basis. It's not much. It depends. Oh. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Mm. Well, Mrs. Plan, I quite agree with you. Every business has its up and down. But it is also important to keep the records of average income and expenditure. Okay? And only if you know your, your, your profit, you can plan for an investment. Hey, Mr. Martins, what you're saying makes sense. But you know, I no stay for school for long. Ah, no, this is blank. Look, do you want me to show you how you can, a very simple way, how you can put your finance in order? Sure. I came along with this booklet. Okay. Yes. You see here? Mm. This is what you are going to be doing in a few weeks okay. from now. Every time. Mm. Always when you go to the market, you buy anything for your shop, for here, beans, mm. uh, potato, mm. you know, then you have to write it down here. Okay. Okay. You write it down here, mm. and then this place. You note how much, how much the price you bought it. Okay. So this is where you write the price. Okay. Then on this other side, at the end of the day, this is your income. This is the date. Then you put what date it is, and then write down how much money you have made at the end of that day. Okay. That is it. So can you do it? Yes. Now. <laughs> I love the spirit. Loan Officer Martins came to visit each and every member of our group. He assessed our individual businesses and advised us on how we could manage our finances. We started to trust each other.
time passed, he got to know us. He gained confidence in the idea of the storehouse and in our individual business skills. The confidence grew steadily until he was finally convinced that we would be able to pay back our loan. I must say congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes. Because most of your group members have tremendously improved your financial management. We as a bank believe that your group have the right spirit and the financial strength to pay back the loan. So, so sir, mm -hmm. could you take me through um, these uh, important issues in the loan? Let's look at it this way. I want to underline this. Just like any other microfinance bank, mm -hmm. our loans are not subsidized in any way. Every Naira that we give out has to be paid back with interest. Mm -hmm. So that means you pay more than you receive. With that, you understand we are not a charity organization. We are a business. That is where we two are here to do business, not to take a free lunch. Fine. And let's do business. Let's do business, Mr. Musa. So let's look at your loan. You receive 200,000 Naira. You are 10 in your group. Okay? That gives each of you 20,000 Naira. Now, this whole amount has to be paid back in a time period of five months. One, two, three, uh, three, four, five. So, you pay back in five steps of 4,000 Naira. So after you have paid five times 4,000 Naira, your debts are cleared. So, let's calculate the 4% flat tax that we will charge on, your, on the whole loan. So the 4% of 20,000 Naira will give us 800 Naira. So you add this 800 Naira on each installment. That will give us 4,800 Naira every month. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We all have to pay five times 4,800. Basically, yes. But there are other additional charges like the management fee, the application form, and the account book. Uh, we calculate our management fee with 2% of the total loan. That will give us 4,000 Naira, all right? Plus 500 Naira application form and a 500 Naira account book. That is just it. Don't be smart, you know. Mr. Musa, look, <laughs> don't get too confused with the whole calculation. Okay? I just wanted to show you how we end up with our monthly installment. So that is it. Mr. Martin. Yes. How much do we pay in total after five months? Yes. Each of you will pay five times 4,800 Naira in loan installment. Hmm. Now, that will give us 24,000 Naira per person. Okay? Plus the 500 Naira account book will get 24,500 Naira. Right? Now you are 10 of you in your group. That will give us a total of 245,000 Naira for the whole group. Then we add the 4,000 Naira management fee and the 500 Naira application form. We have the total of 249,500 Naira. Kai! 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 This is very expensive! Huh? You, 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 you charge us two. Hundred and fifty, almost two hundred and fifty thousand naira, eh? Because of the small two hundred thousand naira you gave us, this is very expensive. That is fifty 
thousand naira on top of it. I want you to understand that loans are never cheap. That is the reason why you have to use them wisely. I repeat it again. My guy, loans are never cheap. So you use them wisely when you go. This thing is, is, is I, don't, I don't know what to see. My guy, I am going home. I'm, right now, I, I don't want a loan again. Uncle Musa, try and understand. If we don't take this loan, we'll lose much more at the market. Just a few harvests and our profit at the storehouse will fetch far better than 50,000 naira. That is what we need to focus on. Hey, my girl, and up! Musa was like an erupting volcano. And it took a long while for the lava to cool down. But eventually, Musa realized that this was a chance we could not miss. There was nobody who would give us this amount of money at a cheaper rate. So finally, we moved on with the loan. So here is your 200,000. It was a great moment when we finally held this money in our hands. I knew we had not yet earned this money. And we were looking at five long months in which we will have to work extra hard to repay the loan. But I also felt that this money will bring the whole group one step ahead and me one step closer to a seesaw.